The connector is being built for a resource that requires an authentication mechanism other than BASIC or OAuth2. Connector Builder has an option for custom authentication. This can be enabled by selecting the custom auth type on the authentication screen. When custom is selected, any required fields and data need to be added as parameters or config values. Parameters provide a way for necessary authentication values to be entered when configuring a connection for the connector, while config values allow the connector builder to provide static values which can be displayed or hidden. Here we see two parameters have been added, one for an API key and another for an application URL. We see this displayed on the preview of the connection card to the right. When a user configures a connection for this connector, they will be prompted to enter the values for these two fields. Now let's take a look at the HTTP helper flow to see how this connector will make use of these values to establish a connection and make calls to the remote resource. Since this is using custom authentication, there isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. This connector is using a common API key auth method of passing an API key in the request header. In this case, the connector is configured to connect against remote Okta orgs and prepends the authorization header with the value SSWS. This differs from other resource types where the API key might be required to be passed differently, like in a request query. Once the authorization header is created, it's merged with any other header that might be provided to the helper flow. Then we see the authorization header, along with any other request data, is passed to the HTTP raw request card. We'll dive deeper into how this is built out in another video.